Well, it finally happened. As we know, the OG Call of Duty servers were fixed slash brought back online a few weeks ago. And within that little small amount of time, everything has just completely broken all over again. Uh, it turns out that Black Ops 2, at least on this Phase Jev's account, is actually unplayable. So whenever I go on to this game, like, people can edit these classes into, you know, whatever it is that they want. It changes basically every single time I log on to here. It's always something else. But this time around, it's just the regular custom classes. But whenever I go and change them and then load into another game, it just all changes back. It, it's really weird. But instead of it just being these weird classes and things like that, it, that's not the only thing that's wrong. It was like the title and emblem stuff that isn't able to be deleted. Your prestige and level can change overnight it's really really odd but by far the worst thing that is happening now is whenever i queue into a game on this account it just instantly kicks me from any game that anything any kind of match that i try to connect to i'm kicked i think maybe i can host a private match and i'll be fine anytime that i go and connect to a public match i immediately just end up in like an infinite loading screen where like it'll load me into the game I'll see the game for like a second and a half and then it goes black screen, DCs me and then loads me back into the game like I was trying to reconnect to it in an infinite loop. Black screen, load in for a second, get in game for a second and a half, black screen and then just repeat over and over and over again. It just keeps you in an infinite loop. So before I start showing you guys all this stuff, if you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day. A whole lot of interesting stuff happening over here with the games that we're playing at the moment. So, all right, so look, this is what happens. Uh, we can go over here. What, what do we want to connect to? We could go to a, a free for all, a TDM, whatever we want. We're going to connect into a game right here eight out of 11 good games that's nice I'm glad it's populated it still works that everything is online it's just watch i'm gonna connect i'm not even gonna touch anything i'm not even trolling i'm not gonna touch shit and it's just gonna infinitely load me into this cargo game and just kick me instantly repeatedly over and over and over again. there is nothing i can do in this scenario now here's the thing sometimes it takes a little bit longer when it loads in right there and doesn't show me a frame it'll keep me in the game for like two seconds you guys know how fast i am with the back outs i have one of the fastest quit outs in the west oh hold on hold on, hold on. watch this watch this watch this. you can see how it just gets you stuck though watch Fuck. i have to back out of the uh custom class menu pause it and then Fuck. this is a mini game in itself i i mean I can make content at it. Fuck! I wonder what they're seeing. They're just seeing Jev connected, Jev connected, Jev connected over and over again. I thought I had it. Mm. Come on. Square, 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 square. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Did I get it? I feel like I just hit a five on doing that shit. Yeah, I don't need to restart anything. Hey, if anybody else's account, uh, you know, connects to this, show me your fastest speed run. What's your fastest quit out? So obviously there's some weird thing going on with the account where it wants to just infinitely connect me to public matches. Basically, it completely kicks me out of public matches. I can't play on the account anymore. It's not just that game either. I mean, we don't need to do free for all. We could do TDM. Let's go right there. Let's see what happens right there. The same thing will happen. It doesn't matter what the map is. It doesn't matter. None of it. Slums, the game just started. Waiting for other players. And I'm gone. And it's gonna load me back in. I'm not touching anything. I'm touching nothing. It just DCs and just reconnects. DC, reconnect, DC, re over and over and over again. Get me out. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. Weak ass infection. Oh, uh, hey, I mean, all those guys that go and change all my classes and fuck around with my account, could you allow me back into a game? Even if you're not the person that bricked the whole online profile, my Black Ops 2 account. In particular, it's it's odd because I can obviously go and play the other Call of Duties. It's, it's just on Black Ops 2 that it's happening. I could go play Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, all that shit. I could do all of them. Does someone know how to fix this? And to prove that it's specifically this account, I could go and hop onto a different account and I'll get into a game completely fine. All right, we're gonna just hop onto a different account, like no levels or anything done on it it's a different account see even the settings are different because i don't usually have music on on this right, we're loading into a game it'll be no problem either loading in the drone not a great map you know usually a map that's pretty largely forgotten but i'm gonna load in completely fine there's no issue at all see i wouldn't have even gotten this far on my other account so uh yeah gg if anyone knows how to reset an account or remove that kind of shit Oh, man it doesn't need to be like this this is so dumb matrix mode okay i'm out of here yeah this shit's just unplayable like completely unplayable for me anyway because i had a video where i said that the game was unplayable but it was just like yeah the lobbies were just kind of ridiculous and all over the place and i meant unplayable in that sense uh, I, it, it just doesn't even matter i don't even have classes either i gg i don't have classes i can't load in i can't do shit man i can play this little mini game of backing out as quickly as i can i guess boom 
I'm so much better. Uh, what else can we even do? Uh, I can go into theater mode. I have some games saved, apparently. Oh, I can put some gameplay on in the background. Yeah, fuck it. This must be like a decent free-for-all. The whole gameplay. Theater mode has to work, no oh, doubt. Oh, it looks like I hit something at the end of the game. Spoilers, I guess. All right, well, cool. All right, we got a theater mode at least. So the UFC event last night was pretty good overall. The Jake Paul, Nate Diaz fight, it actually ended up going to decision. Jake Paul ended up winning like, what was it, 98, 92? Or 99, 91. Yeah, I feel like Jake won pretty handedly, but a lot of people weren't really impressed with him because a lot of people were expecting him to put Nate away, considering Nate isn't really a boxer. But obviously, I mean, Nate Diaz is being Nate Diaz, and he just takes a shit ton of damage and just simply does not care. He didn't even take that much damage, though, to be honest. When I say shit ton of damage, I mean, like, he lost striking-wise, but it wasn't too brutal or anything. He wasn't bleeding all over the place or anything like that. Put Jake in danger a couple times, but yeah, speaking of trying to put him in danger, he, uh, he sat there and cinched up a little guillotine late in the fight just for a second. Just to give him a little taste of like, I could have done this the whole time. Like I was saying, like this whole getting in close shit where everybody's just standing in. Nate, the only way that Nate could come in safely in boxing, because he doesn't do a whole lot of boxing entries, he would just literally rush in with his guard up. But it's perfect though, because if Jake ended up engaging with that, he could just get grabbed. It was honestly an entertaining fight. Obviously, Nate doesn't look the best that he's ever looked. He's 38 years old, shit like that, but it was a fun fight. I feel like I was doing something in the middle of this gameplay because I'll randomly like just start like staring at a wall in this gameplay. Uh, Corey Sandhagen ended up winning. Uh, not in the way that I was expecting him to, though. He ended up basically just completely wrestled and dominated Rob Font. People will get mad at that or whatever, but, I mean, Corey just showed levels to his game. He is absolutely a well-rounded fighter. The issue is that I Dana ended up leaving that fight early in, like, the fourth round or some shit like that. People are just on Corey's ass about it, but I really enjoy Corey. He's definitely one of the most entertaining fighters out there. Obviously, that fight wasn't the most entertaining fight, but it's entertaining to me to know that he can actually grapple. And obviously, his whole camp, his, his opponent ended up changing, so it's a short-notice change. He was supposed to be fighting Umar Namagameda. Corey was obviously planning on grappling with Umar. That's what he did for the entirety of the camp, likely. So he just did the same thing to Rob Font. He fought like he was just gonna wrestle somebody, and that's probably what his plan was against Umar. He said, if I'm gonna sit there and struggle on the feet, I'm gonna wrestle them. And if I'm gonna struggle with the grappling, I'm gonna strike with them. Strike with the grapplers, grapple with the strikers. If I make them both so high level, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, some people are sitting there mad at him, like saying that he wasn't going for a finish or anything, but he absolutely was trying to go for a finish. It's just Rob Font had much better grappling than I think a lot of people give him credit for, at least if Defensively. There's one thing about grappling, it's more about like how little amount of mistakes you make as opposed to just being able to simply go through the motions and get the finish on somebody. If the person knows the defense to a choke or what you're trying to set up, or there's only so many options that the person can do, like if they have your back and they're trying to set up a rear naked choke the entire time and it's very obvious, not even breaking their body triangle or anything, obviously they're not going to try to switch it to anything else. Ooh, three piece. Woo! Quaffy game winner. I like that. It's nice that I have these films saved in here for some reason. I definitely got some of my picks wrong. Bahamundas lost pretty handedly to Ludovic Klein. Uh, Tanner Bozer beats Alexa Kamor. Diego Lopez looks crazy dangerous, dude. He ended up subbing Gavin Tucker, who is not a bad grappler either. Dustin Jacoby KOs Kennedy and Zechukwu. Uh Tatiana Suarez ended up subbing uh, Andrade, which was, I mean, she's just good, man. I was oh, the quad head fail. It was honestly going to be faded as shit or just like a rolling quad head, so it's not even... I don't know why I was using a suppressor. I think I was going for like unique clips at this time. Even if I did land it, it's fading right here already. So even if I hit the quad head, ugh, it's just ugly. It could have been a quad head though. Apparently there's rumors going around that Adesanya is supposed to fight Sean Strickland. The thing is like, the fight's not going to be a good fight. That's the, that's the biggest issue that I have with this matchup. When Sean Strickland has a title shot, I mean, I mean, it's because Izzy is just so good that it's like this at this point. I, I understand. The thing about this fight is that people are just going to be more excited for like the press conferences than the actual fight. Like clearly Adesanya will win that fight unless some freak miracle shit happens, which would genuinely be one of the, I don't even know if I would watch the middleweight division anymore after that. There would be more people that would buy press conference tickets than the actual fight tickets and to me that shit it's kind of embarrassing sean strickland just talks like a lot i mean i'm on the talk right also there's supposed to be some sort of a mortal Kombat reveal today uh everybody's hinting towards reptile i watched a baseball player get dropped by a beautiful overhand right swung that shit from downtown how they let people fight out in a, in hockey and shit like that you need to let it happen in football baseball, all of it. I'm telling you, the numbers are going to go up. And fuck all the suspensions and fines and shit like that. Just put them in a box for a few minutes, eject them for the rest of the game. They'll be back next week. Numbers are going to go up. I'm telling you. But anyway, yeah, you guys get the gist of it. This shit is basically unplayable. Uh, I don't really know what happened. Uh, I'll check back on this like tomorrow or something like that. Obviously, we got all these other games that we can play, but I've never seen this before. Black Ops 2 straight up bricked for me. It's honestly not all bad considering I can make a very unique video out of it. So that's cool.